Hello, hello, hello. It's me again, Oti from Oti's Cucina. So this past few weeks I've been experimenting with peppers. Uh, I come from a region of the world where we eat a lot of what I call peppers or spicy, you know, stuff. And um, around me I have a lot of Hispanic stores and I see all this, you know, exotic named peppers and I'm wondering how do you use this? So I started playing around with them. And so today I'm going to go back home but with um, using different ingredients. I'm going to make in an, uh, a dish that is very, very popular to Nigeria. It's called moi moi, or depending on what part of Nigeria you're from, uh, some people might call it mai mai, right? So this dish is typically made with beans. It's essentially a bean pudding. But today I'm not going to be using beans at all. That's why I'm smiling. Today's dish is going to be highly protein packed because I'm going to be using quinoa, and I'm going to be using sardines or tuna and combining that with something else that is really ubiquitous to my country uh, something that will eat a protein that is you know good for you very low in fat and carbohydrates and that is um, snails so you might wonder where would I get snails from I actually found them at Walmart of all places can you believe I found like a canned version uh, the French also eat it it's called escargot and um, you can find it in the can so if you see you're going to be needing for this dish you're going to be needing already cooked quinoa you can also use quinoa flour i've tried to use quinoa flour before and it works but i much prefer the taste of freshly cooked quinoa so that's what i'm using today so essentially you're going to blend up the quinoa and i use just a little bit, about a quarter of a long hot pepper to give it this reddish looking color. And then the only thing we're going to be adding now is going to be the sardines and a little bit of this um, <coughs> salsa that I made called, I used the manzano pepper. So the manzano peppers are like the apple peppers. So I'm going to add just about two teaspoonfuls just to give it a sweet taste. And I'll be adding about half a teaspoon of green herbs. The green herbs comes from the sauce that I made the other day for the green rice. Again, this is just to give it some flavor. And then I would add my fish. So this is what I mean by it's a really protein packed dish. And in this case, you can use sardines or tuna, everything canned, right? And these are the um, snails that I'm using, the Roland's version of escargot, very large snails. So this is one pack already um, rinsed and drained. So now if you just add your sardines with the oil, add everything, oh, this is gonna be so good. And then mix it all up. You can add more oil if you want, but typically the oil from the sardines is uh, much more than enough for me. So you mix it all up and then I put it in these little stainless steel containers and I steam them for about 20 minutes and um, they're done. Okay. So once this is steaming, I'm just going to quickly stir fry the escargots using the long hot pepper. Remember I told you I've been playing with peppers? This is quite a spicy dish and this is how we have it in my country. We call it spicy pepper snails. This is by no means close to the size that we generally eat in my country. We eat the, you know, the humongous land snails. But this will do for me. I use it often. It serves the purpose. So this is the quinoa, these are the snails, and um, very quick, it steams in about 20 minutes. The other thing too is that this is not going to be your best presentation, right, because I'm getting it right from the steamer into the plates, and so this is what it looks like. But if it had solidified, then I could scoop it out and give it like, you know, this nice dome-shaped presentation, but for today... You're going to have to take my word for it and believe that this is going to solidify and we'll set it up. OK, 
okay but this is what it looks like so much protein right so normally with the beans if you were to use beans you're gonna have to you know peel the skin off the beans and then blend it which to me I don't have time for that really and I don't say that you know in any um, negative way or anything but it's just quite a lot of time and you can use beans flour like I showed you for the quinoa flour but again it's you know your preference and what you um, like I find that the flour gives me this taste I, I always it's like a mental thing I feel like I can taste you know the fact that it's made from plain you know bean flour but either way you can make you know your pudding using quinoa or you can stick with beans like we do in my country and either way you get you know a lot of protein remember I put sardines in here as well and light olive oil and then you have your snails or your escargot so from my kitchen to yours it's um bon appetit as I